Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. By the way, is it weird seeing me with hot pink lipstick? Because it's kind of weird for me. This is going to be a live swatch video, so I'm just going to be swatching all 32 shades of their lipsticks on myself so you guys can see how they look actually on my lips and not just like on my arm or something. I'm really excited to be doing this video today because I know I've mentioned quite a few times on here and on Instagram that this is my favorite all-time formula for liquid lipsticks. I first wanted to do a swatch video on these like maybe three or four months ago when I had maybe eight of the shades, but they just recently sent me the rest of the collection, so now that I have all 32, I'm really glad that I waited. So obviously, just gonna throw this out there, if you don't have fair skin like me with a yellow undertone, these aren't gonna look quite the same on you. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around and see if I can find anyone else that has done a swatch video on these guys that have maybe different undertones or just a darker skin tone than me. So you guys, if you don't have my same skin tone, you can see what it looks like on someone that has more similar of a skin tone to you. And yeah, like I said, these were sent to me over the past like six months or so, but this is in no way like sponsored or anything by Ofra. I do have a coupon code for 30% off. It's just Kayla Hagee. It's my name, but it's not an affiliate link, so I don't earn any money from that. So before I get into the swatches, I just want to talk about the lipsticks a little bit, like their formula and why I like them more than other ones that I've tried. So the main thing for me when it comes to liquid lipsticks is comfortability. So basically the thing that pisses me off the most about liquid lipsticks is when you put them on and they're either super dry and like dry to the point where it'll start to crumble off your lips or like if you go like that, it'll start to peel off. I hate that. The other thing, on the other hand, is when a liquid lipstick doesn't dry down enough, so it kind of stays tacky on your lips throughout the day. I hate that too. So my favorite thing about these lipsticks is that, I don't know how they do it, but they don't dry completely down. They do dry down, I'd say like 90% of the way. So obviously if you were to like go like this to your lips, it would smear a little bit, but they dry the right amount to where it feels like you're wearing nothing on your lips, which is the best thing about these in my opinion. This is what I reach for mostly on a day-to-day -day basis. I kind of switch between these and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, which is actually funny because this reminds me a lot of the Soft Matte Lip Creams, but it lasts a lot longer. Like, they're the same consistency. They're pretty creamy. They're not thin. They're not watery. Like, um, the Kat Von D ones are really thin. This is not like that. It's a little bit thicker. It's kind of like a mousse consistency, but it is really creamy and kind of moisturizing at the same time, so it's not like a super thick dry mousse. It feels super comfortable. It doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips. Sometimes I even forget that I'm wearing something and then I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, oh yeah. I also feel like these last a really long time. It's kind of funny because I was looking at their website a little bit before doing this video and they say that these last about four to five hours and I feel like they last a lot longer than that. It's crazy because I've never seen a company like sell themselves short on the longevity of a product and I just think that they could get away with saying that these last like six to eight hours. This is something that I could just put on in the morning and if I forget to throw it in my bag for touch-ups later, it's not a big deal. I rarely have to touch this up when I wear it out unless I really need to. Like if I'm eating something that's extremely, I don't know, oily or like a salad with a bunch of dressing on it or something like that, then yeah, it'll start to fade a little bit in the center, but it's not anything like any of the other liquid lipstick brands I've tried. So that's another good thing about these is that when I wear them out in public, I'm not self-conscious at all, which is kind of stupid, but it totally happens if I wear other brands of liquid lipsticks sometimes. I like get self-conscious because I'm wondering if like they're starting to crack or peel or flake off. I just don't even think about it because they're just so, they hold up really well and they last a really long time. So as for the finish of these, most of them dry down to like a matte finish, but there are like three or four that look almost kind of metallic-y when you put them on. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe, but you'll see when I'm swatching them. One thing I will say that you'll notice when I'm swatching these is that a couple of the brighter ones, they apply a little bit patchy and aren't as pigmented as the rest, but um, I feel like that's something that a lip liner would help out with that. If you like applied a lip liner on first and then just did that over the top, it'd make it look a little more pigmented. But other than that, they're really great. I love most of them and they just feel amazing, they look amazing, and they're definitely my favorite. So I'm just gonna get into the swatches so you guys can see what they look like on. Let's do it. So for the first few nude ones, I'm just gonna outline my lips really lightly with the NYX Natural Lip Liner. Typically I'll fill my lips all the way in with lip liner before applying these lipsticks, but I'm not gonna do that in this video just so you guys can see the lipsticks on their own. So first up is Angelus. This is the lightest one of the bunch. It's just a really muted pink nude. It's almost got kind of a gray undertone. It's just very light. It clings to my dry patches just a little bit, but it's nothing too bad. I actually really like this one. Next up is Sao Paulo. I hope I pronounced that right. It's just more of a classic light nude. Bel Air is pretty similar to the last one that I just showed you, actually. I just reach for this one more because it's a little bit darker, so I feel like it's just more flattering on my skin tone. 
and Rio is pretty similar too. So the last three are pretty alike, but this one just has more of a kind of orangey undertone, but it is still a pretty classic nude. Pasadena is more of a pink nude, and this is one of the ones that I wear a lot. It's one of my favorites. I'll tell you guys when I swatch a favorite one. This is just my basic everyday lip color that I really like. Laguna Beach is also kind of a pink nude, but I'd say it's more on the pink side. It's really flattering. It's kind of like your lip color, but better. I feel like this is like the perfect bridal lip color. <laughs> Solano is one of the ones that I was talking about. It's kind of like a metallic finish. I'm not a huge fan of these. I don't really like this color. It's kind of like an orangey brown almost. Not a big fan of the color. And as you can see, it applies pretty thinly, so I'm not a fan overall. Mocha is another one of my favorites. It's one that I wear pretty often. On me, it's more of a dark nude, but on someone with a darker skin tone, I think it would be like a lighter nude. I can kind of change this up depending on the lip liner that I'm wearing underneath it, which I really like. So yeah, this is just one of my favorites. Americano is kind of similar to Mocha, but it's got more of an orangey brown undertone, so it's a little bit warmer. Just kind of has a terracotta look to it. And what I'm doing right now with the applicator is just kind of lining my lips. So as you can see, you don't really need a lip liner to get a really nice crisp edge. Mina is one of the newer ones that I just got. This is my first time wearing it in this video, and I just think it's really beautiful. It's just a nice kind of deep berry color. I feel like this would be really flattering on all skin tones if you're super pale or if you have a really deep skin tone, and I think it's the perfect color for fall and winter. This is another one of my favorites. This is Honolulu. It's a very deep, dark brown, and I'm just now noticing that it kind of matches my hair color, so maybe that's why I like it so much. It's almost a mix kind of between like a deep burgundy and a brown. So now we're getting to the pinks, and I'm not a fan of pink lipstick too much, especially these bright baby pink lipsticks. It's just not very flattering on my skin tone, not gonna lie. I wasn't a huge fan of this one. The formula is okay, but I just felt like I looked ridiculous. Saint Tropez, or Trope, I'm not sure. This is one of my favorite ones actually, which is surprising, but it's just a really nice kind of blend of a lilac and a bright pink. So Plumas is another one of those metallic-y ones. It's pretty similar to the first one I showed you, but it's got more of a pink undertone to it. It's just, you can see it applies a little bit more thin. So if you're into the thinner consistency, then maybe this is the right kind for you. But like I said, just not really my thing. I was really surprised by this one. This is Las Vegas. It's just a bright neon lilac lavender color. I don't have any like this and I just fell in love with it. It's really pigmented as well and it was really easy to apply. I really didn't need to add more than one layer, which was nice. I feel like the best way to describe Hollywood is kind of a muted hot pink, so it's not like bam in your face hot pink, but it's just kind of a nice everyday pink. And now we're getting into the hot pinks. So this is Palm Beach. It just reminds me straight up of Barbie. So if you're into that, then this is the perfect one. It's got kind of a cool undertone to it as well. Santa Monica is kind of similar to Palm Beach, but it's not as cool toned. It's kind of more of a warm toned pink, if that makes sense. It does still remind me of Barbie, but it's just slightly different. So now we're getting into the oranges and corals. This is Daytona Beach. It's really light. This is one of the patchy ones, like I said in the intro. I had to do two layers before I actually liked the color payoff that I got. I'm also just not a huge fan of the color on me, but I feel like it'd be flattering on other people. I don't know why the first half of this clip got cut off, but this is Sunset Beach. It's just a darker coral color with a little bit of a pink undertone. I actually really like this one, especially compared to the last. I think I just like darker corals more than really light corals. Next up is Surfer's Paradise. This is almost just a straight up orange. It's not too bright and in your face orange though. It's kind of more of a wearable orange if that makes sense. I really like the color, but I don't know if I'll wear this often. So Miami Fever is the one done in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and this is one of my favorites as well. It's just the perfect kind of 
terracotta red orange brown hybrid that's the best way to describe it I think the formula is amazing it's so comfortable and creamy I am really impressed with this one and I just really love it Ultimate Red is not really an Ultimate Red, so I was kind of confused about the name on this one. Either way, it's a really pretty color. It's just kind of more of a pink in my opinion. I don't know if it translates like that on camera, but in person it just looks more pink. But like I said, I do really like the color. Venice is more of a red than Ultimate Red, so it's still got a slight pink undertone to it, but it's mostly on the red side. It's just a really nice bright color, and this is one of my favorites as well. So Atlantic City is the true red of the bunch in my opinion. It's just your ultimate perfect red lip. I don't really know what else to say about it. This is one of my favorites as well. It's just a really beautiful color and it's just classic. Santa Ana is another favorite. It's kind of a dark pink color, but it's a little bit more on the wearable side. This is one of the ones, for some reason, it just lasts forever. I think this is the most long lasting one out of the bunch, at least in my opinion. Malibu is just a bright purple. It's not too bright though, like it's not super obnoxious, but it is kind of a wearable purple. So I like to wear this with some cool toned eyeshadow and I'd say this is probably one of my favorites too. New Orleans is kind of similar to Malibu, but it's a little bit darker, obviously. The consistency is just a little bit different. As you can see, it applies a little bit thinner, but it's not a big deal. I still wear this one every now and then and it's really pretty. Purple Rain is another one that I'm not a huge fan of. I really like the color, but like I said, the finish just isn't really doing it for me. It's a little bit thin, a little bit hard to apply, but if you build it up, it looks cool. It's just definitely not my favorite. So in theory, Maui is my favorite color because I really love that mint color in between blue and green, and that's pretty much what this is. I think it's really cool that they have more of these unique colors, but I just don't think this would be like an everyday color for me or something that I would reach for too often. Bondi Beach is a darker blue. It's kind of just your true royal blue. I think this is a really nice color and I've worn it for pictures before like on Instagram and stuff, but it is a little bit on the thinner side as well. So I kind of have to build up the color in this one, but I still really like it. Okay, last but not least is Hawaii Tropical and this is the only green that they have. It's kind of one of those satin finish looking ones, so it's not my favorite. I also am not a huge fan of the color, but it is pretty unique and interesting. But as you can see, the pigmentation is just not as great as most of the other ones. Alright you guys, so that was it for the 32 swatches of the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Don't forget the coupon code that I have for you guys, and also check the description box because I am going to look around for other swatch videos of people with different skin tones. Anyways, let me know which ones are your favorite, and if you guys have any questions about these, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you later.